This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Jane Stott back with me. You've been here numerous times here in FYI. <laughs> yes, I have. And Marilyn Nicholas Dehan, you're a newcomer to FYI. Welcome to uh, your- uh, Thank your, uh, you so much. It's it's great to be here. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Now we're here to talk to uh, the two of you. You're both directors with Studio Theatre Perth. You've got two one-act plays going on. I don't think I've talked to you, Jane, with uh, two one-act plays before. No, the, the last time we did two one-acts would have been uh, pre-COVID, so probably 2019 would have been the last time we would have done them. Okay, okay. And again, you know, it just amazes me how many plays you generate in a year. There's a lot, and there's usually at least two, sometimes three plays, all rehearsing at the same time. All right, all right. Now, Marilyn, let's get to learn a little bit about you. You're new to the area, even. You're new to Perth. I am. I moved last summer at the end of July, so it's been just over a year. Um, I got involved with the theater group pretty quickly because I was involved uh, in the GTA area. Uh, I lived in... Um, Acton before, and uh, there was a great group there. So I love theater, and it's a great group in Perth. I've been very welcomed here. So you're new to the Perth area, but you're not new to the theater. No. All <laughs> I'm right. Not. All right. So we're going to talk about two one-act plays. Uh, Marilyn, maybe we'll start with yours. Yours is you're the director of The Addict. Do you want to tell the folks what that's about? <laughs> I can give you a few little hints, but I can't tell you all because it is a bit of a thriller mystery that you kind of have to solve as an audience member. Um, but basically, the stage is split into two halves. Uh, one takes place in a modern couple's attic, and um, the other is a Victorian sort of parlor area. Um, there are three characters as Victorians and there's a modern couple in their attic and the woman, the wife, finds a letter, a mysterious part of a letter. Part of it is missing, but it seems to indicate something happened in 1900. And then we go back and forth throughout the play getting hints from the Victorian side, which is 1900, of what might have happened. and increasingly it gets a little bit spooky on the attic side because she's hearing and seeing things and her husband's acting a little strange and so it's uh it's a great mystery uh sort of a thriller excellent and the evening too you've got two one-act plays going on and the evening is called the evening of muses and mysteries as well yep that mine would be the mystery all right all right <laughs> and so your your play in particular is going to a competition Yes, uh, we're going to the Eastern Ontario Drama League Festival. It's a one-act festival, and this year uh, being hosted by a group in Lindsay, Ontario. So we'll be traveling there early November for that first weekend and uh, taking in all of the plays. And I think we are performing on the Friday night uh, groups of three plays each, each performance. So that'll be a lot of fun. How do you get chosen to go to this? Or... Uh, I think, uh, well, Jane might know more about this because I'm new to this area. Um, we did it differently in, uh, in the GTA. So over to you, Jane. <laughs> what ha happens is uh, a notice goes out from the Eastern Ontario Drama League and uh, you have a deadline in which to put your play in. And basically it's the first nine plays that apply that get in. Uh, there's plays from uh, Ottawa, Kingston, Brockville, um, and actually two from the Lindsay area and then ourselves. So a total of nine different plays, all really, really different. And the fun thing about the plays there is that you have uh, five minutes to set up, sorry, 10 minutes to set up your play and five minutes to take it down at the end. So the audience also gets to watch us do that set up and take down, which we will be do doing uh, for our Mysteries and Muses as well. So you'll get to see how that's done where one set appears and then quickly, quickly it's taken down and the other set goes up. I, I was at one of these competitions once, it was years ago in Kempfel, and that part is, is equally as interesting as watching, you, you only have a few moments to change sets for the next, and it's an, it's an entire new team, it's not even, you know, you, you, you're, you're Perth Theatre working together, it's somebody from a whole different area, you're trying to get your stuff off, they're getting their stuff on, it's amazing that process. It's, it's lots, of, uh, lots of juggling of, of uh, set pieces and so on backstage. So when you come to 
mysteries and muses or muses and mysteries you're going to see the same type of thing as like a little mini festival with just our two plays going on and i mean jane you're very good at talking about that part of the process when when you're putting on a play too because you know when you go to a play what you see is the players out front and uh and the set and, and Jane, you're always very good at talking about the background. You know, there's a lot of people in the background. There's the people who put the set up, that make the set. There's people backstage getting everybody prepared and everything. So you're always very good at giving kudos to everybody involved in the play too. So I appreciate that. So you are also a director in, a, in one of the plays this year too, and it's called Whistler's Mother. Right, and it is about Whistler, the American painter, and his mother, Anna Whistler. Um, and it focuses on how did that wonderful, iconic painting, uh, the study in gray and black, actually get painted. Um, so it's a good story. It's a story about family. Um, Anna Whistler comes over uh, just after the Civil War to be with her son, who has a studio in London, England, 1864, and how he is inspired to uh, paint her. And it's, it's quite comedic. Um, Lovely period piece, lots of costuming done by uh, Laurie Tennant, uh, Tennant, sorry, and assisted by Anne Hawthorne. So it's it's um, a really uh, lovely piece of eye candy. I think people will enjoy it. And I've been trying to get this play done for three years now. Tony Cozier uh, is a local playwright uh, based out of Nepean. He's written numerous plays, published books. He wrote this play and brought it to me, and um, I was just blown away by the historical uh, accuracy of the play. It's going to be a really fun piece. And I mean, Hedy Sawur too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I first met her, it has to be well over 20, 25 years ago when she was with Miracle Players. Uh, and uh, she was doing plays back then as well too. And she wears so many hats in, in our communities and she's always popping up and you know, she, she'll show up here to do an FYI and it's like, what are you involved with now, girl? <laughs> but yeah, here she is, she's gonna be Whistler's mother. <laughs> it's, and actually both those people, uh, I asked them to do these parts over two years ago, uh, herself and Patrick Bugby who, uh, was in my Educating Rita uh, as son and mother. They are a great chemistry between the two of them. I, I believe, I, when I was looking at your, your Facebook page the other day too, is there a David Hamilton? David Hamilton, uh, that's in the attic. Okay, yeah, because there's a lot of comments. People were so glad and, uh, that he was gonna be back up on the stage, but I, I heard some really positive comments about David Hamilton. Well, I can, oh, tell, you in my, I can tell you in my play, we have Patrick Bugby. Um, Claire Campbell and uh, Joseph Nieforth, Nieforth, who were in The Lone Rider, and unfortunately The Lone Rider wasn't able to complete its all eight uh, shows, so they came back and auditioned and got parts in Whistler's Mother, which is wonderful, and then rounding off that cast is Hedy Sarrar. All right, and Marilyn, maybe you can talk about a few of the, the players in your play. Yes, certainly. Um, we have the, the Victorian side, which has David Hamilton, and um, D Diane Cote, um, and then we have um, the sort of, uh, not quite the villain, but anyway, <laughs> a shady <laughs> character, which is played by Danny Corbishley. And then the modern couple is Kieran Moore and uh, Joanna Treffers. So uh, amazing cast. We have been having a blast um, and they have astounding chemistry as well. So it's really shaping up to be a great evening of theater with these two plays. Excellent, excellent. Looking forward to this. So let's talk about dates and times, Jane. Where can people get tickets and when is it gonna be on? Well, uh, of course, ticketsplease.ca. You can get your tickets there at any time or you can come right to the door on one of the nights of the shows. Tickets are $24. Uh, opening night, there's a real bargain. You get your tickets for $5 off. And anytime students can come with ID for $10. Um, and we did promote this actually. Uh, Marilyn and I were both at the high school just last week and talking to different drama classes there and saying, you should all come and it's only $10 for students. And they were very excited about coming out to that. So anyway, the tickets please is your online site.ca. And uh, the show runs October 13th to 23rd. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday evening shows at 7.30, and then a Sunday matinee for two weeks running. Excellent, I mean, you're taking a chance waiting to get the tickets at the door. 
it's always good to do them ahead of time, but mm -hmm. there's always going to be extra tickets. We have seats for over 200 uh, in our theater, so I don't think you'll you'll miss by not getting them early. But some people just like to have them know that that's done. Um, and I should mention to you also, as far as um, our masking policy, it is now um, optional but highly recommended for patrons coming to the theater. All right, all right. I, that, you, you just brought up that you went to the high school and talked to the drama class too. That, that would be a great opportunity for them to be talking to you. I'll, for sure, and also Marilyn uh, is on our board and working on starting up a youth, hopefully a youth theater program. And so we want to go and talk to them and uh, offer them some options for coming and working either backstage or auditioning or even down in the lobby selling tickets or pouring coffee just to get them involved in our theater we'd love to have the youth there I and mean, i mean so many plays you see now too there's a there's a lot of youth in them too yeah, for sure for sure for sure yeah. well we i, I think it's wonderful that yeah. they have these programs absolutely absolutely yeah we're really looking forward to getting them involved for sure um hopefully uh sort of a more formal program in the spring for them with workshops and that sort of thing so that's what we're aiming for, and uh, we were just gauging interest to see see who might really want to come out to that. And I think we had a pretty good response. And it's so nice to be able to get into schools, like people like yourselves being able to go in and be special guests and talk to people too, again, talk to the students. It's so nice that that's starting to happen again. Yeah. yeah. So, so what, what's on your yeah. plate? What's coming up next after this one? Uh, well, for me, I'm producing Scrooge the Musical, which is uh, going to be on our stage November 24th, a cast of over 30, uh, wonderful song and dance numbers. Um, so that's keeping me busy. As I mentioned before, we're usually working on three different things at once. So that's what's coming up next for me. And Marilyn, uh, what are you going on to next? <laughs> I've just agreed to be producer for Working, which is also another musical, which um, I believe is on stage in February. So that'll be a winter uh, rehearsal period. And um, one of my cast members is actually a, an amazing dance uh, instructor and uh, singer. And so she's uh, directing that. Her name is Danny Corbishley. So um, auditions are coming up in November. So contact the theater if anybody might be interested. There's lots of parts and it's a really cool musical called Working. Excellent, excellent. Now, Marilyn, you are new to the area and you're a director. Are we gonna be seeing you on stage at any time? Well, <laughs> a happenstance says I've already taken a part. I was in this year, next year. Uh, somebody had to drop out of the part of uh, playing mom and because I was helping backstage and had a little bit of onstage experience 30 years before, a long time, I did agree to take the part and it was a lot of fun. So you never know, you might see me on the stage too. Excellent. We'll see what Excellent. comes up. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. Well, I so look forward to talking to, to Jane all the time. And Marilyn, I'll be seeing you more often here on, on FYI too, I'm sure. So joining us today, I've got Jane Stott from uh, our studio at Theatre Perth, a director of Whistler's Mother, and Marilyn Nicholas Dehan. You're the director of The Attic. And they're both playing. Uh, once again, maybe, Jane, you'll say the dates and where to get tickets? Absolutely. So it's October 13th to 23rd. And tickets are available online at ticketsplease.ca or one hour before any of the shows. Shows are 7.30 in the evening and 2 p.m. Sunday matinees. Excellent. And it's an <laughs> evening of muses and mysteries. We look forward to it. Thank you for joining us here on FYI.